Okay. Um. <clears throat> I know I haven't posted something for like 10 or 11 days, and that's because part 4 and part 5 would not upload properly. <clears throat> so I'm deciding to do it again. I don't have as many jokes or what I had in those videos, but I'll try to remember what I said and try to make it as entertaining and as informative as possible. So I just finished off Crystal Man. Next opponent, Napalm Man. So Napalm Man is me as the Crystal Eye. <clears throat> and oddly enough, I'm in the woods. And the first enemies are tigers. They don't jump until you get close or you attack them. And it's best to kill them, but if you have to dodge them, you might as well. Um, that's probably the best way to get it if you're hurt. I have all the letters I had before. I used the password to get to this point. And I'm underground. Nothing new with napalm yet. These things you can destroy them with one charge blast or you can just rapidly fire at them. They come through you th through this whole tunnel until you get to this part. And then you climb this ladder. To get the sea tank you gotta jump through the wall. You know, you got water that tries to push you down holes. And that stupid thing. Uh, Sniper Joe flying a helicopter. I'm in the hell out of here. Okay, Eddie, what's for me? Give me an E-Tank. Back to the woods. This guy, you gotta shoot him in the head to take, take him out. And you can shoot the missiles too, which is probably a good idea so they don't knock you into the pit of doom. That's where the hidden end is. Mets driving machines. These guys, when you shoot them, they blow up in different directions. But if you can use gravity hold in the right place, you want to face them. Now, another giant guts man. I'm not sure if that's the first time I faced him or not. I'm down here. Okay, I'm really hurt. That thing you cannot destroy, and you have to wait for it to come up, and then when it's going down, you can get underneath it or above it. These ones are pretty easy to get past. The odd thing is, the last hole doesn't have one. Okay, I know I'm going to lose this first try on him, but it doesn't really matter. He shoots three missiles at you, then he jumps towards you, and then he throws bombs in the air. Then he'll jump towards you again, and then he can throw bombs or shoot the missiles depending on how far you got away from him. His weakness is the crystal eye, but instead of shooting the crystal eye at him, shoot it away from him. Since the weapon breaks when it hits the wall, it will bounce around the room a bit, and it doesn't matter how large the shot of the crystal eye is, they do the same damage. See, all he's doing is jumping towards me. Remember sliding away. And that's how you get rid of Napalm Man. A lot faster than I did in my trial run. There will be three Robot Masters in uh, these sets of videos. Because four and five took on three Robot Masters. That Napalm Bomb on So 
So our next boss is Flat-Headed Stone Man. Now oh, I remember those Mets. Like from four in that level where they was a Met. These, those enemies are called the Crystal Bats. It's odd that none of them are in Crystal Man stage, but they're in Napalms and Stones, and I think they're in Charge Man stage too. This is the only level where the leather is actually hidden. You have to shoot through this wall, then you can slide down here and grab the G. This whole thing, I believe, is 11 to 12 parts, if this works properly. Might be even less. There's no way met. Dang, I didn't even get the life. Ball monsters from the previous level, but they're throwing rocks. Makes sense, I'm fighting Stone Man. Can't fight Rock Man because that's Mega Man's name in Japan. He is the Mega Man. Exploding jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Those rats are almost impossible to hit. You have to be below them, or if you're at their height, you have to hit them with a power blast. Crystal bats will keep on falling. If you hit you, they'll fly up again. I'm doing this a lot faster than I did the first time because I just want to get it out of the way. Those things can be getting rid of easily with gravity hold, but that's n I never use gravity hold to get rid of them. I just got rid of them by shooting them. Someone might use gravity hold. And they're respawning. To get that life, I don't really don't need it, but I'll show you how. Um, use coil to bounce so you can jump up here. You can't get it from the ground or from a higher jump, that's why you need the coil. These ones will be easier, better to get rid of with gravity hold. Now getting this E-Tank, to ride this one, ride this one, and jump off this one as soon as you get on it. But to get over there, you have to ride this one to get the platforms to respawn, so you can use them to get over there. You might be able to use Rush Jet, but I don't think it's a great idea. Great. And he's being really generous, the one time I don't really need him to be generous. So what I'm doing is three levels. Okay, I'll stop the video here. Pick it up in a sec.